The home page of Peter McKinnon's website says, YouTuber, coffee addict, lover of good stories. Every wallet we build has its own unique story. We hold your story through memories in our leatherwork. Here's the end of the story first. What I want to bring to the table is a couple of products that Peter, Ryan, and our saddle shop can all benefit from. We call them memory wallets. They have a custom fabric lining in them. That fabric can have Peter McKinnon's photography on them. It could also have Ryan's, my son Cal's, even everyone's subscribers' photos on that fabric used as a liner for the memory wallet. We can sell completed wallets with photos or we can sell kits of the memory wallets because we own a set of clicker dies used to make the kits. When we launch, faithful fans of Peter McKinnon can now sew their own wallet with the lens cloth liner that has a full color photo on it. When Peter said he has a crew in Utah, I jumped up and found my son so he could hear Peter for himself. I said to Kel, he has people here who could vet us to learn that we are hardworking and for real. Also that our leather source is right here and also for real. Rocky Mountain Leather Supply. I don't think it's a coincidence, especially when Ryan calls his business a calling from his designer. It's funny how things fall into place, how ideas pop up, even slap you in the face. My son and I really wanted to launch our memory wallet idea on Kickstarter, mostly because everyone we showed the memories wallet to loved it, and we've sold a bunch. The basic idea of our memories wallet is to place a fabric as a liner into the wallet that reminds you of someone special, a great place, places where you gave service to others, like the military or as a first responder. A great Scottish family had me use a royal family tartan representing their Stuart name. They are beautiful wallets. The biggest problem we faced with Kickstarter was we were guessing that most folks don't want to cut up a garment to send us a sentimental piece of fabric or had a military emblem laying around that would work in the wallet. We were about to give up trying to find a source of quality emblems and insignias to reach the military and first responders. While watching Peter McKinnon and learning how to create videos for Kickstarter and for our brand new tiny little YouTube channel, one day as I'm watching, Peter flashed a lens cloth that had a full color photo of his taken at Marin Lake at Alberta's Banff National Park. Peter shows me exactly what I need for placing full color artwork on the fabric that's to be placed in our wallets. Three months nearly to the day, Peter reveals that he is actually a very good leather crafter, then visits a fellow crafter named Ryan James, the owner operator of Little King Goods. I've been watching and following Ryan since I retired and started leather crafting again. I first started working with leather when I was 11 years old, working with a saddle maker and silversmith. So that's more of how funny things work, or I hope work out. Ryan said in his recent video, Born to Create with Peter McKinnon, keep doing it. Don't give up the fight. Those are great words and even better advice. I'm telling you, things keep slapping me in the face. Like when the guys and Ryan said on the Maddie and Pete show, I want to eventually sell products that don't have to be made by me. They also said create multiple revenue streams. Another great quote by Ryan, let's go do what we were born to do. We're with you on that, Ryan.